Georgia Maloney announced plans to send 20 million euros to parts of Italy devastated by flooding and extreme weather. Russian strikes in the Ukrainian city of Odessa injured four as independent media claim more than 70,000 people fighting for Russia have died during the war. Ahead of regional elections on Sunday, polls showed the far-right AFD overtaking the German Chancellor's party in Brandenburg. Against the backdrop of massive flooding that took the lives of at least five people in their country, people in the Czech Republic took to the polls to vote. The Italian government announced plans to allocate 20 million euros to the region of Emilia-Romana after flooding devastated the region. Italian Premier Giorgia Meloni said the money would be sent as soon as the region's declaration of a state of emergency reached the government. Heavy rain and flooding caused more than 1,000 people to be evacuated. Flooding has also affected other European countries like Poland and the Czech Republic. In the Klodzko region of Poland, army and locals are clearing debris from the streets following the extreme weather. Work began in previously flooded cities in the Czech Republic to clean up streets and houses. Flooding in Europe reportedly caused 24 deaths and the EU has promised billions in emergency repair funding. Russian missile strikes on the Ukrainian city of Odessa injured four people, damaging port and civilian infrastructure as well as a ship flying the Antiguan flag. Odessa and other southern parts of Ukraine are regular targets of Russian missile and drone attacks. More than 70,000 people fighting in Russia's military have now died in Ukraine, according to an independent tally by the Media Zona news website. However, the Ukrainian general staff instead report that Russia has lost more than 600,000 troops since the start of its full-scale invasion. Ukrainian President Zelensky will travel to Washington next Thursday for talks with US President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. He's expected to press for the US to allow Ukraine to use Western-provided weapons to strike deeper into Russia. US officials said they have asked Ukraine to spell out more clearly its combat objectives should the administration greenlight loosening restrictions on long-range weaponry. The election campaign for a vote that could determine the fate of Germany's national government wrapped up on Friday. After strong showings in two other state elections in eastern Germany, the far-right alternative for Germany might overtake Chancellor Olaf Scholz's centre-left Social Democrats in Brandenburg. Ahead of voting on Sunday, the AFD is leading on polls, followed by the SPD and the Christian Democratic Union. SPD regional head Dietmar Wojtke has said he will resign from politics if the AFD win. The left-wing Sarah Wagenknecht alliance is expected to make a leap into the state parliament only months after its inception and also following success in recent Eastern German voting. In light of double-digit poll ratings, the BSW could play a decisive role in preventing the AFD from becoming a part of a new state government, even if they come out on top. The Greens and the German Die Linke party have scored below 5% in polls and might not make it back into the state parliament. Czech citizens went to the polls in a two-day vote to elect a third of the seat in the parliament's upper house, the Senate, as well as their regional elections. Voting took place against the backdrop of massive flooding that hit the country and other parts of Central Europe in recent days. In some places, voting took place in shipping containers, tents or out in the open. The flooding in Europe claimed the lives of at least 24 people, five of them in the Czech Republic. State officials helped the hardest hit towns organize their ballot in the northeast of the country, where schools and other buildings that serve as polling stations were submerged and damaged. The current ruling five-party coalition led by the Czech Prime Minister has a clear majority in the 81-seat Senate. Runoff elections will take place next week.